Okay, let's see if it starts. New game. Oh, this time it wants to go to heroic. No, let's bump it down to easy. Hey! Is that it? it? Says waiting on fire team to load the map. Well, don't do finish. Wait, I don't think that's the right one. Uh, if you. Okay. Kim, you're be being compared to a mom. You don't remote desktop in? Oh, we can still set it. How's your audio on the streaming, Kim? Is it, can you still hear it? Did, did we lose Kim? Yeah, yeah, this is the start. Oh, they're telling you right now. How you can live your life differently. Oh, sorry, spoilers. This is the end. Master Chief dies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. <laughs> We just skipped to the end. It's the final cutscene. And I ain't finished. We gotta start the game. They changed the supporting character. It's a different guy than when I played. Yeah. They went from Latino to this guy. Yeah, when the game first came out. Did someone skip the cutscene? Somebody did. Somebody did. We missed... Oh, we missed the reveal. Ronald? <laughs> Ronald skipped the cutscene. <laughs> There's only a minute left. There's only a minute left in that cutscene, Ronald. So anyway, he looks out the window and then he sees his whole fleet is essentially decimated. And then he thinks he's gonna die. Uh, I think he goes into cryo sleep, and then the computer wakes him up because it says it detects uh, Master Chief. So he scoops up Master Chief, and that's the cutscene that we just skipped. <laughs> the fuck, Ronald just skipped the intro. <laughs>
right, game starting. Uh, I believe so. He's still alive. Yeah, because he does cameos as Master Chief, so yeah, it's the same guy. Alright, good luck with the cloud uh, lag there. So, I mean, you you know the voice because you played the multiplayer. He's the same announcer. Somebody keeps skipping. <laughs> it's Rollo. <laughs> it's like Stasis beam weapons. It's like I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> Enemy around here. Something. Something. Oh, right there. Yelling at us. Whatever you're planning to do, do it fast. Yeah, let's go around. There, there are no explanations for why there are four Master Chiefs. Because like all the cutscenes and the stories are about one person, and then suddenly you cut cut over to four of us. Boy, I don't remember where to go, Ronald, because you just skipped everything. We gotta get up there, but I don't remember how, so we just ran forward. Oh, you made it up there. How'd you make it up there? Oh, really? I couldn't make it when I jumped. Oh, okay. I mantled. Oh. Where's, uh, where's Kim? Oh, there you go. I, I jumped from, can I even mark? Up here. They can't make the jump. Yeah, from uh, there. Just keep holding A and you'll mantle up. There you go. Alright. If you hit down on your D-pad, it tells you where to go. That's what I'm using to figure out where to go. Alright, Tim, go through here. There we go. It's our first bounce. Uh, nine hours. So, yeah, I was hoping we got three hours today, but... <laughs> I sit an hour, <laughs> yeah, to start, to start the game. Yeah. I was hoping, because we're playing it on easy, we can just like, mow everything down. Yeah, right? Because that didn't. That wasn't even a two minute fight. <laughs> that was just 10 seconds. We do not bow our heads. 
We do not kneel before false idols. That hologram. We stand. It's Atriox. He led the attack on the infinity. We can pick up guns. He was looking here. for something. It's Ronald. He, he killed everyone. I know. We men. Atriox showed us the way. Together. Oh, we can't we share a weapon. We take it. I can't get it. We are Alright, we go through this door. Here's the uh, ammo Rika. You can kill him, though. Uh, genocide is a fun game. He's actually his own spiders. No more. No more lies. No, this, this is, uh, yeah, this is our ship. They took us, they took it over and kicked, uh, Master Chief into space. That's where, how the game started. So this is our ship. We're just trying to... Figure out something, kill things, figure out what to do from here. Press right bumper to grapple. Oh, okay, there, that's what we were supposed to do, because Ronald skipped it. I didn't remember what button I hit. Right bumper again. Fucking Ronald. Grapple. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I got pushed off. <laughs> I don't know, I think I bumped in a can and he blew beneath my feet. I know, I grappled over your head. I think I, yeah, I think I bumped into you. Yeah, there's the five second respawn. Alright. Elevator. I'm gonna take the elevator without. Oh no, you're all here. Okay. Dropships. <laughs> Should pick. I don't think he's taking damage. Oh, we can't take damage while we're. Jeez, he's so full of needles. Oh, he's running at you with your nose. I'm playing an audio log. Oh, we're gonna go down here. Um, I ran by it and I told you this is the ammo refill. So, when we find it again. Otherwise, just pick up weapons. That was the big problem when I played it the first time. I just kept running out of ammo, even on easy. So I always had to switch weapons. Every, every minute. Where, right, where's Ronald? Where's Ronald? There you are. Die! <laughs> See you back? Die! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ran out of ammo too. Forget the reason. Oh, here, Kim, over here, where I'm standing. That glowing thing over here. This is ammo for kinetic weapons. There's, and then there's ammo for energy weapons. So there's two different types of ammo. Oh, here's the other one, over here. No, no, just hold, hold X while you're looking at it. If you're full, it won't give you anything. <laughs> Did Ronald kill you? Yeah. Yeah, if you're full, don't worry about it. You can't pick it up. Oh. 
I was gonna pick that up, Ronald. <laughs> you will find him later. You incoming fire! Yeah, this is going to be such an easy game <laughs> with four of us. Got quad damage. No, you're wrong. Atriox was in uh, Halo 3. We had apes before. It's the Cabal, Kim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in Destiny, can't escape it. We have a new problem. Apes were in uh, Halo 3. Even Ronald's like, when do we get apes? It was uh, it's when they introduced the gravity hammer. It was by that huge ape boss in Halo 3. So this is their faction. Oh, we gotta kill all enemies. Oh, you got a plasma weapon. That's good against anything with a shield. So usually, if you're playing solo, it's a bit harder. So you use energy to knock down their shields and then switch to bullets. Oh, we have not started this? Disable. There you go. I did it. It's locked down. Requires a hack. Okay. And you can do that. No. New plan. <laughs> Scuttle the ship. <laughs> you are going to destroy this ship. With us in it? I'm going to die here. There are cooling pipes running towards the main engines. So? I'm going to warm things up. Oh, fuck. Is that Ronald? Yep, it's Ronald. I was trying to pick up that grenade, Ronald. Alright, so hit down on your D-pad to see where you have to go. It'll tell you what, what to go to blow up. Did he work? Nothing seemed to happen. I'm not done yet. Well, hurry. I can see them. Brutes. The little things. All waiting. the weak, weakest weapon. Kim is running around with the weakest weapon in the game. <laughs> Get ready. It's not supposed to. The green plasma, that's the weakest weapon. Ever since you, yeah, Halo 1. Alright, we're almost done with the intro. You guys don't remember from Halo 3? <laughs> I know you did it, but Ronald played Halo 3 when they introduced Gravity Hammer. It's Atriox, this guy's boss.
the banished is just a faction of the covenant so the apes used to work with the covenant and this guy's like let's go do our own thing they don't tell you this you just learn it as you play the game if you listen to him rambling on You. You're not supposed to know who this guy is. You need to hurry and get back here. I don't know how long this ship will hold together. Oh my god, Ron's gonna throw something at me. <laughs> <laughs> It makes it so much harder for us behind you. We are running out of time. The batteries. <laughs> Charging slowly. I don't know. It's really close. Too close. Can Ronald even make it? Yeah, Ronald's caught up. Oh, we're gonna go down there. Oh, oh, Sanford, he missed for a second there. I yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, I've died here before. I made it all the way over here and died here. I hope this place holds together that long. Charge faster! That's my grenades. I've been killed by this uh, stuff that blows up and sends something into your head. Oh, yeah. How many explosions do you want? Yes.
<laughs> I think we were, the humans were coming out to this rink to see what had happened to this, so this, this structure, it's a, not man-made, but it's, it's a, you know, artificial structure, it's called a halo, right? It's a weapon that fires to commit genocide. And I forget, I think they tell you why, but the humans were coming out here to explore it. And then we got ambushed by the banished. That ape was hunting us down. So the ape isn't the reason that the halo looks that way. Like it's getting rebuilt right now. So there's mystery, but we probably won't understand it because we'll just keep skipping past everything. So our pilot thinks that everybody died when we got ambushed by the ape and his team. Oh, thanks for spoiling it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just bodies floating in space. <laughs> Yeah, he was from Halo 3, I think, so we killed him. Uh, no, no, it's one of these guys. Uh, Eshram. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's Eshram. It's the big bad in this one. He's the main leader. Because Atriox, we killed him. Yeah, so you'll see he has made camp on the Halo, so he was here before we were. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, no, there's multiple Halos. So, what you didn't know with Halo 4, I haven't played it, they tell you about it later. I guess I'll stop till the, till the cutscene's over.
Okay, so I remember now. Um, the banished were already here, but uh, Eshram was hunting us the whole time. So whenever we showed up, he had an ambush set up for us, the humans. Yeah, I think you gotta grapple over. <clears throat> so then, uh, that's that's when the game started. We got ambushed, all our ships got destroyed. But I'll tell you, because it might be hard to hear. Uh, Eshram and the Banish were here on Hera to destroy Hera because they think that they can fire it up again. So the Halo targets uh, certain species. So you can say, if I want to kill all humans, program the Halo to wipe out all humans and then you fire it into the solar system. It'll just go over planets and just kill everything that it needs to kill. Just a big, big weapon. So that's what he's trying to do, but he's not rebuilding the Halo. You'll find out that something else is rebuilding the Halo. Hold on, let me kill this guy. I see an entry point in the wall. We got a mini boss here. Get in there. Find this weapon. Oh yeah, can you here with me? There we go. Sanford's off there on his own. Be careful. They're still coming. Uh whenever you use a grapple shot, you have uh, momentum that'll carry you too. It's like you can always use momentum. So I didn't play Halo 4, but they explain it as you play this game. Um, Cortana, your partner, your AI partner, went rogue and decided that she needed to kill or commit genocide on, I forget, one type of species. Yeah, the sexy lady's gone. So you, she tried to commit genocide and then you had to stop her, but she still managed to fire off the the halos. So almost all halos are connected together. I'm assuming this one was connected too, so that's why it's damaged and needs a repair. So this one did get fired. Okay. But yeah, that's why you are coming here to investigate. Why this one's not completely disintegrated, why there's activity here. And then we got ambushed when we came to discover. And we also find out that there was uh, some human research that was happening on this halo before it got fired, too. So, it's a bunch of threats that they'll explain to you as you play the game. But right now, we're trying to find the weapon. That's the research that was happening at this Halo. We were building something called the weapon. Looks like Kim missed the jump. Over Kim. <laughs> this way, Kim. There you go. All right. something you can take their weapon. Oh here is a bunch of them. Oh, 
Cortana's dead. What are those things? This is four on the right. I've heard the stories, but man, this is crazier than I imagined. So forerunners are the ones that were before almost all other Don't beings. Question. They created How humans. You know this is the trap? And they can archive us. Great. They know how to digitize living beings. Ships heading this way. Too many. We're running up. It's not Cortana. This is the weapon. That's what it was, okay. So she was our substitute for Cortana when Cortana went rogue, and we tracked her down here. So we didn't track down the weapon. We injected the weapon into the computer system on the Halo so she could try to battle Cortana. That's what Ronald and Sanford were asking. Hey, Ronald's back. Did you do that? No. Removing me triggered a response from the ring. Hey, I, I detected. There's not, There's much, not time. much time. Well, well Cortana's still in our system. I keep hearing her. How would you live your life differently? How would you live your life differently? That voice is Cortana's. No, it's not her. Just dust and echoes. What did you say? What? It's just pieces of data cycling until they run out of power. It's all around us. Today, I was called an emotionless automaton. They saw faces. 75 healthy subjects, handpicked by me, perfect for the program. They will not all survive. I understand that and have made peace with it. Mostly. There is one subject that I find myself hoping does live through this. He is perfectly suited for what is coming. His name is Uber75. Me. 
These are the banished. Affirmative. They smell even worse than I imagined. You can smell them. Well, an array of sensors in your armor can, and I analyze the input. You smell fine, by the way. I really like the weapon. They did a good job. Look, yeah. Over there. That's the source. The bridge is out. <laughs> Bye, Rob. Maybe there's a way to power it back up nearby. <laughs> Bye. We gotta find a battery. Oh, there's a battery right underneath. Maybe even another AI. You are here because you were chosen. <laughs> it's not fan service. Ronald say it's Cortana fan service. It's one of the big points in the game. It's how they close out Halo 4. So Cortana is still going to be a big part of it. Like she said, like the weapon said, she was supposed to delete Cortana, and then she was supposed to be deleted herself. So, it didn't work, because the weapon's still here. Did I miss you can something? see... There's a file that's been unlocked, but I don't have access. In your heads-up display, you're keeping information okay. from the Let's weapon. See. There's a breach close by. It should lead us to the surface. 
with on your screen now it just said there was a failsafe protocol that got enabled but what the weapon doesn't know <laughs> He's trying to make it. Give me a second and I'll get this bridge activated. <laughs> what is safe? Do we have to protect it? We've got okay. company chief. Meet me at the plinth up ahead. Oh, you missed it. Surprise, human! <laughs> We're still, I guess, in the head though. We haven't even made it outside yet. The game. I forgot there was this corridor section at the beginning of the game. Let's get rid of these annoyances. First. Enemies nearby. We gotta kill the enemies before we can move forward. You got here fast. Not the type to waste any time, huh? She's talking to Ronald. Noted. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Push him off the edge. Uh, there's a turret ahead. You can pick up this turret, Robin. Grab that turret. Hey, Kim, come over here. With my name. Hold the X on this. And then it tells you to hold X again and rip it off. Or something. Oh, maybe it's not X. There you go. Alright. Now, now clear the way for us. I was hoping to teleport me to us. We need a battery. Let's go find the battery. Where is it? Up here? Oh, I missed. Where is it? lift should be powered up. We need to find a way to bring it back online. Is she gonna unlock a door for us? We're missing a battery. Oh, it's only one shot? Alright, Ronald. Cool. <laughs> if you want to get up to the surface, we need to restore power to this gravity lift. This object, it's part of the ring's life force. You got it? Okay. It's called a power seed. Ronald and I were busy shooting each other. <laughs> You challenge me? <laughs> Where's your weapon? I, I ran out of ammo. Give me your weapon. Uh, he's behind me. Chief, stop. How is... Is that a Spartan? Oh, it's gonna shoot me. We need to find out what happened. Oh, did we find the dead Spartan? He gives us upgrades. We can, uh... Oh, really?
You can make your grapple shot electrified, so you can uh, tase things as you're grappling to an enemy. An energy sword. So if you want to rape your grapple, sh uh, replace the grapple shot, you can replace it with an energy shield or something. But I would not recommend it. That grapple is a lot better. Alright, let's clear the room, boys. I got something for you, Ronald. Oh, you didn't die. <laughs> okay. Warriors, no! Oh, that's why I can't pick up another needler. I already had one. You can look at the radar on the bottom left. You should be able to see if you have enemies around you that you haven't, you haven't killed. Uh, did you try to shoot me and die? <laughs> Look for a control terminal. Ooh, better weapons. Control terminal. Kim's standing near it. This elevator is it? drawing power from the ring. Well, it was. The seed is missing. Ah, oh, battery. Find the battery. Yeah, that's gonna be like every major area you have to open with a battery first. Ooh. What are these things? Genetic repositories, forerunner storage vessels. Silexes. How do you know this? I was she just stuck in that head. room. That should do it. Let's get back to the elevator. <laughs> Take it from Oh, he threw it. He threw the battery. Oh, he threw it off. Wait, did you throw it off the edge? Oh, there it is. Got it. Get right that up. There you go. That is, wait, that was one battery. We need two? Oh no, we can call it now. We can call it. Here's the elevator. So happy. It's already on its way down. Why do you think it's coming down? So innocent. So innocent. Yeah. And her name is the weapon. Not expect four Master Chiefs. <laughs> Get him, boy! <laughs> I just threw like five grenades. Oh, fuck, I died. Did 
Can I take all three of you out? Like, I threw like I five grenades. Oh, we're all just gonna punch him in there, huh? <laughs> I think we broke the game. <laughs> that was supposed to be like a 10 minute fight. <laughs> you were right, he was not friendly. By the looks of him, he was some sort of. <laughs> Where's Rommel going? <laughs> Boy, that was humiliating for him. Trying to reach you, you vanished. I thought I was on my. Okay, I got your location. On my way. Be ready. That wasn't even one minute. <laughs> that was like thirty seconds. <laughs> But that was such a struggle when I played it solo. I think I played normal. Maybe I did do heroic. I started on easy and I switched over to something. <laughs> oh, <no>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Now what we're we out of next? the starting zone. Another problem. Why so cynical? It might be something good. Trust me, it won't be. Oh, I guess we gotta kill these guys first. They're sleeping. Don't don't shoot. Just just sneak past them. Hey, look, they're sleeping. He's just sleeping right here. Oh, you woke him up. <laughs> you died. How do we get out of here? Terminal over there. Let's open it up. Let's get out of the starting area. So, this is uh, Outpost, kind of like in Far Cry, if you clear it, it's yours. So this is not an option where we do have to clear this, so we can progress the game. Have people played Far Cry? Ship coming in. Ship coming in. Right next to Sanford. Throw grenades right where they jump out. You could kill all of them at once. Oh, you're not close enough to them. Oh, 
What weapon I was carrying. That's the last of them. Is it safe? Is anything? Don't answer that. If you can find me somewhere to hack in, I think I can guarantee this base will be safe for your friend to land. Hack in. There should be a terminal or we can plug in. And then the space will be ours. That's why I thought they replaced this guy. I forgot he went into cryo sleep but got all the facial hair. It's the first cutscene that Ronald skipped. It was the same guy, just there was a passage of time. Do you want to stop here and then carry on after us? Yeah, uh, don't quit now. You have to wait for the cutscene so you get to the next save point. Her voice acting is great. Here is the distress signal's point of origin. This is our current location. This was, until two minutes ago, a banished forward operating base. I say was because now it's ours. Chief, what is she talking about? Now, here's the cool part. There are more UNSC forward operating bases that have fallen into banished hands. Well, pause. They have pause. Each one is associated with a territory. Here is the location of the UNSC signal I've been tracking. And here are two more fobs. Oh, I wonder if this goes straight to the next base. Oh no, okay, that's saving it. So it's like uh, Assassin's Creed, where you have a whole bunch of things you can do around the world, but you don't have to do it. We could just go straight to story to story to story. So that's how we can cut down the playtime. So it'll mark the main mission, so whenever we play again, we can just go straight to the main mission. I got something for Sanford. Get over here. Ooh, mid air. What a shot. I threw a perfect spiral at your face. Get over here, you coward. Oh, Ronald killed me. Oh, 
Oh wait, there's a audio log. Should have told it to play. To mark our triumph, local forces will begin at once. Oh, I got something for Robin. The first of many on the hallowed ground. Where is it? Oh, I see. Get over here. Oh, my God, that's actually reaching me now. I'm dying, Ron. So that it may inspire other leaders to do what you have done. All that remains of the humans are scattered remnants. And so the hunt carries on until oh, the last the human skull is crushed. Thanks to your efforts, that day is rapidly approaching. Up on me. Oh no, I ran out. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, what time do we want to play tomorrow? Same time or earlier? I could do it earlier. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So, not tomorrow. Why are you guys all over there? Me, right? First you say you want me to follow some signal. Then you leave me here waiting. Well, go ahead. It's not like I have anything better to do. Oh, well, if we're all gonna play, we'll have to wait till Saturday. Are you free Saturday? Ronald, are you free Saturday? Uh... A free Saturday? You can do this or this? <laughs> okay. Uh, do we want to get on earlier on Saturday so we can actually get a good chunk of it then? Well, I'm assuming everybody's free so we can log in earlier. Okay. Maybe we'll log in like two hours earlier. Or should I just get on the uh, PlayStation chat? Apparently not. What did he call himself? What? Asheron. Asheron. That's someone I really want to avoid if possible. Oh, really? Well, let's try this. Alright, so who's going to start it? Ronald's going to be the tip of it. And then I'll follow him. And then Kim follows me. And Sam Sanford follows him. So when you see the grapple go out, Alright, everybody stand still. Alright, Ronald, go ahead and start it. Did it work? <laughs> Somebody went flying by! <laughs> okay. I wonder... I wonder if you're, like, really far behind, it just, like, makes you go faster. Because you're at the end of the chain. Okay, so I hook on to Kim? Or Sanford, you're going to hook on to Kim. Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're ready. Oh! Bye! <laughs> oh, Sanford fell too. <laughs> It does work. Wow! Oh, I guess we can cheese our way into unpassable areas. <laughs> yeah, it already saved. We can quit out now. Alright, see you on Saturday. You gonna try to get the game installed, Kim? Yeah. 